so I'm reading Dr. Wayne Dyer's The Sky's the Limit, and uh, he's got this little example of something in here, and it's interesting because it reflects something that actually happened to me, uh, or that I was witness to. Um, a typical example for a child in the 5th to 8th grade range would be, so uh, a child is being disruptive in class. Uh, and what it is is that uh, this whole discussion about delayed gratification, uh, how to, you know, children, they don't believe in delaying gratification, that uh, any child psychologist, if you ask them, will you like one lollipop today or three lollipops tomorrow, they'll say, give me the lollipop now. Um, it's as adults are learning delayed, but anyways. Uh, so he sent a kid who has this problem of, you know, no, you know, I'm, I don't want to, why do I want to delay something? And uh, being disruption in class, stuff like that. So, uh, me, do you like to read? Johnny, some things. Adventure novels, frontier stories. There are a few authors that I really love. Me, when you get bored in class, instead of throwing paper airplanes, why don't you just open up one of those books in your lap and read? Johnny, I'd love to, but the teacher would never let me. Me, because it would be a bad example for the other kids, or because you wouldn't know what she was talking about when she called on me. Johnny, I don't know. She just wouldn't let me. A follow-up conversation with the teacher. Me, there's nothing wrong with Johnny. He's just bored with most of the time. Instead of trying to get him to postpone his gratification, why don't you just let him have some gratification? When the class doesn't interest him, let him read his favorite novel. Teacher, I can't do that. It would be set a horrible example. Pretty soon all the other kids would be reading too, instead of paying attention. I'd never be able to teach him, teach them anything. It would be making Johnny a special case, a privileged character. Me. But Johnny was sent to me because he's already a special case. Your report says he's constantly disrupting the class, cracking jokes, shouting out answers to questions before you have time to call uh, on anyone else. Do you think his reading quietly by himself would disrupt the class more than he does now? Teacher. It might. His desk is right up in the front of the room because I have to keep an eye on him every minute. And the whole class would notice. Me. So move his desk to the back of the room. Make a deal with him. He can read when he gets bored. You won't bother him if he won't bother you. Teacher. But when I call on him, he won't know what I'm talking about. He'll never learn anything. My duty as a teacher, me. I noticed Johnny got all A's and B's on his last report card, and his only poor grades were in self-control and attitude towards school. Teacher. Yes, he's a very good student when he puts his mind to it, but he hasn't learned how to control himself. Me. In fact, one of his problems is that he knows all the answers before you ask the questions and doesn't have the patience to wait for other kids, so he just blurts the answers out. Teacher. That's right. He's a hopeless show-off. Me. He's not a hopeless anything. Put him in the back of the room and let him read when he wants to, and don't call on him when you see he's reading. Or, if you do, be prepared to re rephrase a question when he looks up and says, What? And if I were you, I wouldn't worry about the other kids. If they can get all A's, or if they can all get A's and B's while reading novels under their desk for half the school day, then more power to them. Teacher, but suppose Johnny's grades go down. His parents, me, make it part of the deal that you'll let him read novels during class only if his grades stay up. Make this an experiment. I'm sure Johnny will have no problem with that. If anything, this idea that he can do what he wants during class time will be positive reinforcement for his academic growth. And reading the novels won't hurt his language skills, either. I'll talk to his parents about it, tell them I think we should try it for this next report card period. What they care about is that Johnny gets less disruptive and gets good grades. I bet they'll agree this is worth a try. So this, this guy's been practicing child psychology you know, for years, and uh, this is something he started doing, and I'm just like, wow, it's pretty amazing. Um, so my own similar experience, but no, nah, that, that would be bad. <laughs> that would be bad. Um, and there's a reason why. So, but the guys involved, they know what's going on.